Welcome again to Weatherscope Proctor Library Storytime. I'm Glenna Coleman, Youth Services Librarian, and this is my library pal, Library Bear. We are here once again to read you some stories. This time we're going to uh, read ab <laughs> about Owl at Home. The, way I, the reason I'm laughing is because I think you will really find these stories quite humorous. Um, Arnold Lobel is one of my favorite authors. And um, this is a chapter book. We're going to read three stories out of it. Three stories from Owl at Home. Doesn't that look like a cozy little home? So Owl at Home. We're going to read um, The Guest, Strange Bumps, and Tear Water Tea. Now aren't those interesting titles? So... The guest. Let me just get comfortable here. Owl was at home. How good it feels to be sitting by this fire, said Owl. It is so cold and snowy outside. Owl was eating buttered toast and hot pea soup for supper. Owl heard a loud sound at the front door. Who is out there banging and pounding at my door on a night like this, he said. Owl opened the door. No one was there, only the snow and the wind. Owl sat near the fire again. There was another loud noise at the door. Who can it be, said Owl, knocking and thumping at my door on a night like this. Owl opened the door. No one was there, only the snow and the cold. The poor old winter is knocking at my door, said Owl. Perhaps it wants to sit by the fire. Well, I will be kind and let the winter come in. Owl opened his door very wide. Come in, winter, said Owl. Come in and warm yourself for a while. Winter came into the house. It came in very fast. A cold wind pushed Owl against the wall. Winter ran around the room. It blew out the fire in the fireplace. The snow swirled up the stairs and whooshed down the hallway. Winter, cried Owl, you are my guest. This is no way to behave. But Winter did not listen. It made the window shades flap and shiver. It turned the pea soup into hard green ice. Winter went into all the rooms of Owl's house. Soon everything was covered with snow. You must go, Winter, shouted Owl. Go away right now. The wind blew around and around. Then Winter rushed out and slammed the front door. Goodbye, called Owl, and do not come back. Owl made a new fire in the fireplace. The room became warm again. The snow melted away. The hard green ice turned back into soft pea soup. Owl sat down in his chair and quietly finished his supper. <laughs> oh, what a bad guest winter made. Well, this is the story Strange Bumps. Owl was in bed. It is time to blow out the candle and go to sleep, he said with a yawn. Then Owl saw two bumps under the blanket at the bottom of his bed. What can those strange bumps be? asked Owl. Owl lifted up the blanket. He looked down into the bed. All he could see was darkness. Owl tried to sleep, but he could not. What if those two strange bumps grow bigger and bigger while I'm asleep? said Owl. That would not be pleasant. Owl moved his right foot up and down. The bump on the right moved up and down. One of those bumps is moving, said Owl. Owl moved his left foot up and down. The bump on the left moved up and down. The other bump is moving, cried Owl. Owl pulled all of the covers off his bed. The bumps were gone. All Owl could see at the bottom of the bed were his own two feet. But now I'm cold, said Owl. I will cover myself with the blankets again. As soon as he did, he saw the same two bumps. Those bumps are back, shouted Owl. Bumps, bumps, bumps. I will never sleep tonight. Owl 
Owl jumped up and down on top of his bed. Where are you? Where are you? He cried. With a crash and a bang, the bed came falling down. Owl ran down the stairs. He sat in his chair near the fire. I will let those two strange bumps sit on my bed all by themselves, said Owl. Let them grow as big as they wish. I will sleep right here where I am safe. And that is what he did. <laughs> oh, silly owl. Did you figure out what those two strange bumps were? <laughs> hey, here's our final story for this story time. Tear water tea. Owl took the kettle out of the cupboard. Tonight I will make tear water tea, he said. He put the kettle on his lap. Now, said Owl, I will begin. Owl sat very still. He began to think of things that were sad. Chairs with broken legs, said Owl. His eyes began to water. Songs that cannot be sung, said Owl, because the words have been forgotten. Owl began to cry. A large tear rolled down and dropped into the kettle. Spoons that have fallen behind the stove and are never seen again, said Owl. More tears dropped down into the kettle. Books that cannot be read, said Owl, because some of the pages have been torn out. I happen to be with him on that one. Clocks that have stopped, said Owl, with no one near to wind them up. Owl was crying. Many large tears dropped into the kettle. Mornings nobody saw because everybody was sleeping, sobbed Owl. Mashed potatoes left on a plate, he cried, because no one wanted to eat them. And pencils that are too short to use. Owl thought about many other sad things. He cried and cried. Soon the kettle was all filled up with tears. There, said Owl. That does it. Owl stopped crying. He put the kettle on the stove to boil for tea. Owl felt happy as he filled his cup. It tastes a little bit salty, he said. But tear water tea is always very good. <laughs> well, Library Bear and I hope you enjoyed reading about Owl at Home by Arnold Lobel. You're certainly welcome to story time this time. We invite you back for another time. I'm Glenna Coleman, Youth Services Librarian, with my good friend Library Bear at the Weather Shield Proctor Library. We'll see you next time.